All right guys, so today we're gonna be targeting redfish and I'm gonna be using two lures only. I'm gonna be using a uh, four inch paddle tail saltwater assassin with uh, gray on top with sparkles white on the bottom and a chartreuse tail. And then uh, a miradine um, that has the pink on the top, green on the bottom and white flash on the sides. Um, I'm just curious which one's gonna work better. I have uh, caught fish on both of these at this location. The way I'm gonna be targeting these fish is uh, going along looking for deep holes, uh, looking for grass beds where the grass meets the sand. They like to hang out there and watch the bait fish uh, come out into the open area and then they come out and hit them. Or they sit in the bottom of the hole and same thing, wait for it and uh, just come out and slam it. So hopefully they're in the area, hopefully there's bait. Stay tuned. Right, guys today this is what I'm gonna be throwing uh, unless I don't have any luck then I'll Alright guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the water, how I'm working it. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a million ways to work this, uh, probably some better ways than I actually know. So if uh, you guys know of a way that is better or a technique that works for you, please comment below and uh, let me know and the rest of my subscribers so that they can try it as well. Um, but I'll show you in the water what it looks like. All right guys, so <clears throat> it's a little shallow there it gets deeper down here so I'm just working my way down and then I also saw some uh, birds going after the bait so where there's bait there's fish see you in a bit Alright guys, I was going to fish this hole and fish these docks, but I have visitors. They just pulled up on me. <laughs> That's the hole I was going after. I guess I'm going to change spots. Um, stay tuned.
All right, guys, I wasn't having very good action, so I'm switching. I believe it's a saltwater assassin with the chartreuse tail, like sparkly gray on top, white on the bottom. I've done well with redfish and trout on this lure, so jig, whatever it is, paddle tail. Um, so hopefully we have some better luck. Look at that fish. Nice. Not a keeper, but a little guy. Pretty fish. Look at that. Real pretty fish. Right here, so you know I'm not lying to you guys. Right here. Got him on that. Nice little redfish. Let's get him back in the water. Look what it's on, paddle tail, baby. Nice, he's a keeper. 19 inches. Well guys, I'm all out of time, so I'm gonna end it with this one. Check out that fish. All right guys, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna bleed them out. Um, <clears throat> just makes them taste better. What I do when I bleed them out is behind this fin here, there's a hole. Well, it's not a hole, but you can stick your finger in here and then move it around and you'll bleed them out. I already did it on both sides of him. See how the blood comes out of there? So, and then I toss them in the cooler and then I toss them in the cooler and then that water helps get as much of that blood out as possible. Hey everyone, <clears throat> I got that red fish from earlier filleted up and I cut it into like small chunks when it's a smaller one like that, uh, like a nuggets kind of a deal. Um, I use limes and I cut them up real thin. You'll see how I use those. These I use to squeeze juice on it while I'm cooking it. I use Tony's Creole. I use this sometimes I just use one or the other sometimes I use a little bit of both you know either way it helps add spice and then and seasoning and then I use butter how much you want to use is up to you um, I've seen where they put all of this in there to blacken it and really crank it up in a cast iron skillet and use this and then you can do blackened, but it has to be hot and in a cast iron skillet and probably done outside. Um, but I just do a little bit of bolt with the lime and then uh, I pan sear it up. So uh, I'll show you how much I season it. I just take this, you can get that in the frame. And you just take a little bit with these thin ones. You don't want to do too much. You know, so you get a little bit on there. And then take this, just do a little bit of that also. 
just enough to spice it up because you're gonna do both sides you don't want it over seasoned when it's this little fillet flip it over and you don't want to overcook this so I stay by the stove it doesn't take too long flip that over Hard to not get too much on there. And rub it in too. You can move it around. A little more on that one. Then I'll take these small ones here, just squeeze it on there right now. Use a few of them right now. Cause we'll get the top. This will be the bottom. We'll lay that in face down. All right, there's that. And then with the butter, I just do like either a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. There's lines on these. I don't, it's hard to see on the camera. Let's see. Here. Yeah, I'll do one teaspoon. Make sure you don't like the paper on fire. I have a gas stove, so I just put it on medium. And we'll let that warm up and then I'll show you guys uh, how I cook it. Now that pan's nice and warmed up. So you can take your butter and then put it on there. Spread it around. You know, and like I said, you can use as much butter as you want. Hopefully this fan's not too loud, otherwise it'll get smoked out. Let that get just like that. And I'll kind of set them on there. Oops. And I'll put them face down because I put that lime juice on on this side. Turn that down a little bit. Don't want to cook them too fast. And then I take these lines and just put them on there. Turn that down a little bit. So I just do this for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, not even that long. Um, just keep an eye on it once it turns white. See, and then when it gets to this point, I'll pull these off. I just like having them a little warm. Feel like it soaks in there too. Probably don't want to do this with your hand because it's hot, but I don't have a real good feeling in my hand. Flip that over. Man, that looks good. Let me get you closer. Alright, those are done now, so I'm going to pull them off. And you can cook it a lot hotter and blacken it, but I just like those seasonings combined. 
nice little flavor. All right, guys, I got to hold it up here. Kind of awkward for you guys to see me take a bite of this, but let's try it out. Mmm. That's real good. Falls apart. Mmm. Real tender, juicy. I really like it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, um, comment below with uh, any fish recipes that you have or if you want any other videos from me reason i did this video is on the last one somebody asked me to show how i catch the fish and how i also cook it this is how i do it um i like it uh there's many ways to make it so please let me know because you know i catch these redfish pretty often when i'm down here in florida and i'm always up for a new recipe so thanks for watching and have a great day